Hi everybody and welcome back to another daily dose of Jace Tutorials. So today we are going to talk about Geekbench 5. I'm really excited about it. Just came out, found out through email, and I've been experimenting with it. So let's get to it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was the dark mode. So if you are on Mojave on your Mac, you can definitely change your appearance to dark mode and you'll, you're going to have a new look. So that is pretty cool. You just got to go to system preferences, general, and then right now my appearance is light. So I'm going to switch it over to dark. Really exciting stuff. I like the new look, you know, changing it up, trying new things. So that is cool. So we are on dark mode now. So that is the first thing. The second thing I wanted to do was run our CPU benchmark test. So I did run this earlier. I know I'm just using my phone to record because I didn't want the um, the screen casting to affect the the test at all. So I will speed up the test for you guys. But uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat was the machine learning. Machine learning is part of the test. So that is pretty cool. Um, you might have seen it. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of speeding up the video right now, but toward the end and I think toward the middle too, uh, it runs the machine learning test. So that is really really awesome. But we are definitely gonna go over the CPU benchmark results. I didn't get a chance to run my uh, benchmark four on this Mac, so I don't have anything to compare it to. So our score is actually really low. I'm actually surprised a 701 single core and a 1476 multi core. Um, yeah, running the benchmark for the Geekbench 4 test uh, from other computers, I wasn't expecting this Mac to score so low. So I'm going to have to like do some research and get back to this uh, video later. So right now, let's look over the results here. Processor information. Let's go over this. Scrolling down. Yep machine learning guys so that is number two so that is really cool i'm gonna have to look up the definition later because uh, you know machine learning what exactly does that mean like you know is that like ai or something but yeah so it's just really cool playing around with this stuff uh, and learning so i hope you guys can bear with me so yeah it looks like there is machine learning for the uh, multi-core as well so that is pretty awesome Okay, comparing the results here. Wow, looks like, okay, the MacBook Air that we have scored really low. So let's look at these other uh, computers here. Okay, let me scroll down here. Wow, even my uh, Mac Mini 2014 is going to score higher than the uh, MacBook Air. Okay, that is surprising since the Mac, uh, Mac Mini is about three years older than the uh, MacBook Air. But, you know, like I said, this MacBook Air is pretty good for, like, um, basic stuff. It's not like you're expecting it to, like, render, like, a whole bunch of videos and stuff. Uh, you know, great battery life, 11 hours. Um, you know, if you're a student, it's a perfect laptop for you. You know, just the basic applications. And, I mean, I edit a lot of stuff on it. Run iMovie, you know. So, let me just see what else we have here. Yeah, even the multi-core score. I am actually really surprised at how low this thing was. Wow. But yeah, let's move on. So next, uh, yeah, I did look up our definition from the, uh, from the Prime Labs. And we have our machine learning definition right here. In case you guys were wondering. I'm going to put a link in the description below as well to kind of explain it. And then for the structure for motion, which is actually our a augmented reality. So that's number three, something I did not catch earlier. So I guess augmented reality, if you're looking for that, it is the structure for motion test. So according to this, the structure for motion workload takes two 2D images of the same scene and constructs an estimate of the 3D coordinates of the points visible in both images, augmented reality or AR systems and computer generated graphics to real world scenes. So that is really cool that uh, Geekbench added that to their testing. I'm actually really, really impressed that they did that. So yeah, once again, it is structure for motion. Oh yeah, so like I said, I'll put a link in the description below um, just because 
this is like so much info right now for me information overload um you know playing around with this thing it's already like past midnight i guess and i'm still like experimenting with this thing i can't wait to try it on the pc but uh right now let us go to our help section here because actually i found out why these scores were so low so according to this geekbench 5 they explain here um, that they have a new baseline for the Geekbench 5, which is actually really, really surprising to me. So it's right here. So all you got to do is go to the help section if you're going to look for this. So according to this, the, um, the new baseline is uh, completely something new. So that means that you're, the scores that you're going to get are going to be lower. So let me put up a, a screenshot real quick. So yeah, looks like for Geekbench 4, the baseline is 4,000 points, Intel Core i7 6600U. Geekbench 5, on the other hand, had a baseline of 1,000 points, Intel Core i3 8100. So basically, from what I can uh, gather here, if you do a Geekbench 4 test, it'll be 75% higher than Geekbench 5. So we're going to experiment more more on that in the future so i'm going to run them on pc because i was not able to test this mac uh, macbook air here for a uh, geekbench 4 but on the pc i have a copy of the geekbench 4 results so i can run the geekbench 5 and then we can compare but from what i can tell the geekbench 5 results are going to be 75 percent lower than what we did than what we had for geekbench 4 but only one way to find out we'll find out find that out that out about in the future um, right now we are doing our next test, which is our, um, compute test. So I'm speeding things up. I did not notice anything while I was running the test. Anything new, uh, did not pop out to me. Uh, but then again, I am a noob. So our Geekbench score here is open CL score 3451. So that's pretty cool. So that is pretty interesting. I'm hoping that's going to be a high score when we check our our comparison. So most of this stuff uh yeah, I don't I did not notice anything new. I will try to look it up later and do some more experimenting. Like I said, this is all new to me. When we go to PC, we're going to have a lot more computers to test. So, oh, it looks like whoa, looks like there is no MacBook Air com compute comparison for the um, Geekbench 5 yet. That is interesting. Wow, am I the first one? Well, maybe I'm the first one that um, hasn't uploaded yet. But we should upload the results. So yeah, that is uh, pretty interesting, guys. So let's upload these MacBook Air mid-2017 result information. So yeah, I, I did not see any comparison... Uh, I'm sure that'll change in the future. We must be one of the early birds. No biggie. Okay. So yeah, the last thing I want to talk about is for number five. Last but not least, I noticed that after reading the blog, it is a 64-bit only. So this will not run on 32-bit uh, computers anymore. I actually have a couple of 32-bit computers left. So what's really interesting about that is... Um, it makes sense to me. Uh, you you kind of got to set the bar, the average at 64-bit because uh, a lot of programs don't even work on the 32-bit anymore. And, you know, you want to keep things up to date. So I found that, fi found that info out from this blog from Geekbench 5, Primate Labs. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.